day three of vlogmas i've been up since about 7 30. so day three and i've got some stuff to open so yesterday was fabric godmother obviously and snag tights today it's fabric godmother and sam's 12 days of christmas box number two so we'll open the fabric godmother one first and we need to find number three she's there in the middle which with my nails i'm struggling to get out but there we go cute box no rattle today mm, what does that mean it's empty you better be pinobby And in these easy, oh, there we go. A little tube of love hearts. I like them. But if that's all I've got, oh no, there's a card. Oh. Like this, I have got £10 off my next Fabric Godmother order. That is a win. Because it's £10, isn't it? Plus some cute little sweets to eat today when I'm doing my sewing. Thank you, Fabric Godmother. I will definitely be spending that when I'm allowed to buy some more fabric. I wonder if there's an expiry date on it. Oh yes, until the end of March next year. So I need to bear that in mind and put it in my calendar to remind me and not lose this £10. That's what it is, they give me £10 back. So let's do a little recap then. What were we at yesterday? We had £14 for the seams cream and then £4.80 for the gorgeous buttons so we're at £18.80 so a £10 voucher is £10 so we're at £28.80 p on day three not bad because let's do a little bit of maths here <laughs> now you're asking a lot if I paid £120 and I've got 24 days they need to be to be in profit five pound value a day minimum and then i've got more than the 120 pounds back so day one 14 pounds definitely day two just slightly under day three up by five pound so it's looking good so far let's see how the rest of the calendar pans out so as well as that love hearts i'll be munching them later when i'm doing my sewing because a snow day is definitely a sewing day in my book so i've got sam's box here and i've got to find number two let's see if i can pan the camera down and you can see here we go Number 12. Oh, that's number two. That was easy to find. Number two. Let's have a little thing. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it smells. I think it smells. Throw that my hands. It definitely smells of something Christmassy. <laughs> Exciting! I'm loving this paper. Oh, just what I needed. You can't see, can you? I've got a load of labels. Now, when I was at the knitting and stitch show it's the one thing i had on my list that i forgot to go and look at oh there's loads of them 
Let's see what they all say. Good things take time on the front of that one. And then on the back, uh, it's a page Joanne one. So this next one, you look lovely. I know I do. Oh, this one's very neat. Life is colourful. Loving that one. One that says, good luck. Oh, I like this. Creativity never goes out of style. Love that one. That's definitely going on one of my Christmas makes. Another good things take time. What? Wow, there's loads. Have a nice day. Like that. Oh, a lucky shamrock one. Go get them. It's definitely what I would say. And last but definitely not least, leopard print with handmade on it. So how many labels has she sent me? Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, ten, ten labels. Amaze balls. Thank you, Sam. Another great advent calendar gift. I wish I'd thought of that one. Loving them, and they are definitely needed. I have very, very few labels, and I am consciously starting to put them in my garments now. So, thank you. So that's the advent calendars for today, day two. What have I got planned today? Um, not going outside, basically. I hate snow. I like looking in through the window. But fortunately, it's the weekend. So the hubs, the walks, the dogs, so I don't have to go out on it. And it might have melted by tomorrow. We'll see. I've got to hang my stars up snowflakes up which means precariously climbing on my sewing table because the window's that direction but we'll get those hung up today and then the decker day for today is a sewing related one and i'll just pop an image of it hopefully there for you to see because it is a scissors holder and i love this idea and I'm going to give it a Christine twist like I do. And I'm going to put a cord around it or some bias binding so that I can hang it around my neck and always have my scissors with me. Particularly when I go to sewing socials. That's the plan. So you will have already seen this morning that I was making these babies up. I've made four of them now. And they're being made for my social sewing at the Millhouse venue on Wednesday. It's our last one before Christmas. So I'm making all the ladies who come. I think there's nine coming this time. So I've got another five of these to make. And I'm giving them all a Christmas pin cushion as a thank you from me for supporting my group and helping me get it started. So I might get a few more of those done today. I might do them. The, I do that. It's all hand sewing now, all the sewing, machine sewing, sewing, sewing. <laughs> has been done so i'm doing them first thing in the morning when i get up and i'm having my morning brew i'm making a couple so it's no great panic i've got till wednesday so i've got five to make till wednesday so i've got i've only got two days right i might have to make a few more of them today and then i'm not panicking last minute so scissor case Maybe a couple of more of the pin cushions finished off. And then I have cut out the lining for my Naya coat. So today 
I'm going to watch the Guthrie and Garnet sew along well hints and tips because I bought their hints and tips blog and Lauren goes through how to add interfacing to it but not everywhere because she reckons because it's boiled wool if you interface it and the coat is meant to be quite swishy it ends up too stiff so I'm going to follow her guide she's done a vlog on how to cut pieces I think to cover the shoulders the sleeve edges the bottoms I need to watch it properly so I'm going to watch that get the interface pattern pieces made cut out and then interface on to the boiled wool and then we can start sewing tomorrow fingers crossed and that's what I'm doing today I think I don't think there's anything else that I need to do I've made the list for my Christmas cake I need to make the list for the Jamie Oliver gravy and then my hopster reminded me that I usually make very very ginger cake he's not a sweet kind of guy and he loves Mary Berry's ginger cake it's just a tray bake so I need to write down the ingredients for that check my cupboard now I managed to tidy the baking cupboard get rid of all the out of date rubbish yesterday so I know where I am so I need to uh, check the store cupboard make a list of the things that I need and then tomorrow I'm gonna to have to go to the supermarket does anybody else hate doing that it is my least favourite thing in the world. Supermarket shopping. I'm alright when I get there. It's just the thoughts of it, I think. And then having to put everything away when you get back. I don't need a big shop. So I'm planning on going to Lidl. Because they get lots of great Christmassy things in. They get some biscuits that, if you like the Biscoffe Lotus biscuits, they do a big bag that taste exactly the same but they only have them in at Christmas the Christmas biscuits so if they've got those in I'll grab a bag and then I can show you them tomorrow and then you know what to look for because you get a huge bag of the biscuits for a lot less money than the biscoffy ones are win in my book so I'm gonna bob off now go and get some brekkie because I've not eaten yet and as I said start figuring out how to make my scissor holder and i'll see you later bye just popped on to give you a little update just to grab up these babies because oh my thumb's killing me but i have made one two three four five six seven eight nine pin cushions all ready for Wednesday so that's one less thing to worry about but I'm getting behind with everything else and the other thing I forgot this morning was well I did forget I gave it to the hubster when this came yesterday because in my head this is the first for fabrics Christmas gift box and I thought Christmas so I gave it to Nick to put away for me to open on Christmas Day so that I would have a little surprise but then by mistake because I did genuinely want a surprise I was watching Julie sells her old clothes and I got distracted doing something probably selling pink cushions and then when I looked back up she was actually opening this box but it was good because I realised it's actually full of things that you can use to make well I just realised I've got my glasses on my head sorry to make for Christmas so I've snatched it back off it and I'm going to open it so much for a Christmas surprise but I would have been annoyed, so thanks Julie for opening yours, if I had left it for Christmas Day and then realised that everything that was in it was actually related to making things for Christmas, if you get drifted. So, we're going to open it together 
I know you can't see me fighting with the box, but you don't really need to get the wrapper on. And then I'll change the angle, the camera, because you've just got my other flag at the bottom, haven't you? So there's the box. Let's tilt this camera down a bit. better so there's the box and we'll see what's inside oh it's the same as julie's this is going to be interesting so it's come all wrapped up with the first of a fabric ribbon on it which is lovely and they wrap everything up in um old tissue patterns which i think is a really good idea and really it's eco-friendly so we'll cut the ribbon and we can see Woo! what's the goodies I've got. It's looking a bit similar to yours, Jill, which is great because I loved what you had in your box. So the first thing that I got that Julie had is these are the little Christmas lights on a rope we're decorating something with they are beautiful i'm actually thinking of putting that on a christmas top or on that use it to decorate something that i'm making for somebody but they're well cute so i definitely did need to open this didn't i the next things i've got is some little snowmen and snowflake buttons. They're well cute. Definitely going to use those. Whoop, I've got some red and green gutman thread, really useful with bobbins and the little bobbin tops on them really useful this time of year a couple of labels that are christmasy i am loved and a little decoration loving this ah now i've got a little card our first for fabrics with a secret code on for 15% off on their site up to the end of March next year. So I'll put that with my £10 fabric godmother card that I've got, keep them all together. And then in the new year, when I'm feeling a bit low, I can have a little shopping spree. What else is there? A little chocolate. I'll be having that after. We'll have some hot chocolate this afternoon, I think. I feel a hot chocolate mood coming on. Oh, what's this? Make your own Nordic star. Oh, oh, that can be one of my decorations for my sewing room party. So that might be tomorrow's make. Fabulous. This is handy, two rolls of Christmas ribbon. And I was saying I wanted gold ribbon to hang my stars up in the window, and I've not done it because I can't find my Christmas ribbons. So I'm going to be able to use some of that for that. So that is definitely getting used. I'm loving this little package. A seam gauge. I was watching Julie this morning. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. But it was funny, wasn't it, Julie? Hers didn't have her seam gauge in. Mine's not been opened. Mine's got the seam gauge in, Julie. I'm sure they'll send you one. How weird. Pencil. I have loads of pens, but no pencils. So with passion, not perfection. That's definitely me. Definitely me. Because my sewing is not perfect by any stretch of your imagination. 
I am passionate about it. Now, these could come in very handy for something I'm wanting to make one day in the 24 days of Vlogmas. And it's some green and red felt. And that's all I'm saying on it. So that could come in very handy indeed. Save the fat rates till last. I've got Christmas tea. Black tea with flavouring and intense aromatic tea infusion with flavours of spice and citrus. Might try that instead of the hot chocolate this afternoon. Might be a nice alternative energy. I don't really do flavoured teas. We'll see. And I've got a big label. Sorry about that, I was reading it. From Specky Seems Just Love Her Labels. That says, treat me with kindness and yourself too. That's nice. And then some bias tape from the Specky Seamstress. I bought some of their bias tape to make some Christmas pyjamas that need your bias bag in a beautiful quality. So it's got hearts on it and it says, my favourite make. It's really jam-packed, this. Oh, a maker's workbook sewing. So we've got it's in sections this, which is really good. It's got one that's designed, so it's got if you can see the body models for you to um you can use the pencil to sketch out your designs of what sort of garment you're trying to create. One that's got a stash list, which might come in really handy for me because I don't list my stash anywhere. And then a reference section, have I missed something out? Designing, oh, at the front, there's all the projects, pages as well. Like that. I do have a book that I use at the moment, but that one is different. It's got more information in it. So let's start using that one instead. We'll see. I've already got one of these. You can't have enough, can you? This one can go in my sewing social bag and it's a prim theme guide. And then, last but definitely not least, are some Christmassy fabrics. How many have I got? So I've got, whoops, go. Green with stars all over. Some red tartan, I've got any tartan fabric. And I've got some crackers to make, so these can be great for that. Some red tartan, some green tartan, and some red stars. So I'm sure they will come in and very happily with my medics. If not, in fact, for some of my room decorations. Have I done? I missed the note that says, Hi Christine, we, we hope you enjoy your box of festive treats and find time on the run up to Christmas to sew up something wonderful using fabrics and trends included. The festive 100% cotton poplin fabrics are ideal for decorations and gifts, such as bunting crowns, sleep masks, Problems. Book cozies, pet bandanas, drawstring bags, and what's that? For a chicy style wrapping, and so much more. I've read about the look of that. Wishing you and your loved ones a very merry Christmas and for all of us up at first the fabrics. How sweet is that? So I'm just going to pop everything back in this box and keep it tidy. So I'm just going to keep my sewing room space tidy. <laughs> so I've been getting all creative. I've made my scissor holder. Are you ready? Oh, 
<laughs> what do we think? <laughs> I absolutely love it. It fits my dressmaking scissors, my duckbill scissors, and my little scissors that the lovely Asbe has chewed the handles off, but I use a lot. They're like embroidery size scissors. And I've made this holder. I'll take the scissors out and then you can see it properly. Dead easy to make. It took me about less than an hour from start to finish. I'll pop the link to the tutorial that I followed. And obviously we did a little Christine twist to it. But here it is. Let's take it off around my neck actually. So there you go. So it's like a little bit of origami this. It's one piece of oblong, well two pieces back to back of oblong fabric folded in a certain way and then you get a pocket for your little scissors, a pocket for some medium sized scissors and a pocket for your dressmaking scissors. Now on the vlog, that tutorial that I followed, they just had it like that as a scissor holder but I wanted one that goes around my neck so I've just measured a piece of gauze grain ribbon and used one of my little buttons from the first for fabrics box to cover the end of it and you'll notice the fabrics I've used are from the first for fabric box as well now it only takes two seven inch by ten inch pieces of fabric hardly any so definitely a scrap to this one and the other thing that i've done differently to the vlog is i've used some wadding iron on wadding i put it on both pieces of fabric because it was not flimsy but not heavyweight poplin if you've got a heavyweight poplin fabric just do the fabric it depends what you want i wanted one that was a bit more sturdy because i was hanging it around my neck so i have used fusible wadding and there we go absolutely love it fits my scissors in and i will be making this light's going bad isn't it i will be making another one there we go it's brightened it up again that isn't christmasy obviously because this is vlogmas i've done it in christmas fabrics but how cute is that make one for yourself or get some wisdom up for your sewing friends as a quick and easy and impressive christmas gift so that's it for today i haven't managed to climb up the window and hang my snowflakes but i'm going to do that now and then i'll show you those tomorrow morning and we'll do day four of vlogmas take care see you tomorrow <laughs>